quite simply, this is an impressive museum right here in Muskegon. I have to say, it is a little bit of a surprise. I never knew this was here, but I'm glad that I made the stop. But look at the size of this thing. So I'm just gonna give you, there's the front end. Basically what they tell you is that if you stick a football goalpost on that end where the American flag is, and you swing it all the way down to the end here, you got yourself a football field's length ship. That max depth, 200 feet underwater, it can go underwater for 48 hours. It's an impressive length, really, 312 feet long, the widest 27 feet at the beam. It was launched August 26, 1941, um, and it has engines made in Chicago. So the engines that power this thing made in Chicago, commissioned to be in the war in December 15th, 1941, and it was decommissioned in 1946, and it located back here to Muskegon in 1987. It's the USS Silverside is the most famous surviving submarine of World War II. She sunk more than 30 Japanese vessels and damaged 14, took down more tonnage than any other surviving World War II submarine. She rescued two American pilots and laid 16 mines on separate patrols. The first ever appendectomy, otherwise known as getting your appendix taken out, was performed by the pharmacist mate and it was performed right here in the war room of the Silver Size. It was depicted in the movie Destination Tokyo starring Cary Grant from back in the day. The movie below was also filmed aboard the Silver Sides. I mean, this thing is a living, breathing war machine. It shows you all the little hallways that you get to walk through, including the pantry, the war room table, the hallways, where they loaded the torpedoes up on the deck that went down into the main room. You see the engine room, the control room, you see the electrical room, and the uh, what they call the exploding bathrooms. That is all happening here inside this room but it's most impressive is the torpedo room just all the parts that make this thing go it's unbelievable the uss oversight submarine museum you can go to their website and check it out i highly recommend it for anybody that's interested in world war ii history or history in general this place is unbelievable this is definitely worth the trip i mean you get to walk on something that's a part of american history i highly recommend it one of the best part about a road trip is when you just kind of just drive through things and you discover things by accident. And that's what this is. I am downtown Muskegon, just off the shorelines of Lake Michigan. And I am in this heritage corridor called the Hackley Heritage Trail, where all these beautiful Victorian homes are along this block. Kind of reminiscent of Oak Park or older parts of Chicago. But the best part is when you cross the street, if you're a big Monet fan, you're gonna love this because this is the Monet Garden here in Muskegon. And it was inspired by a vacant lot that the business owner next door there in that pink building decided we should celebrate beauty and let's put in a garden. So that's what this garden is. So I'm just gonna walk through this garden real quick, but it was all done by donations, master gardeners, volunteers, but it is an absolutely stunning garden. This is the little space of it here. These guys are enjoying a nice shade because it's a hot one today. But there's fishies in the pond, right guys? Yeah. yeah, fishies in the pond right there. But this is a nice little slice of heaven right in a bustling town that is Muskegon. But there's even a little uh, explanation box, if you will. I'm going to show you here in a second because it's actually kind of cool. So look at this. There's a little box here. The Monet Garden of Muskegon. Uh, it's inspired by the one in France and it's provided inspiration to transform the vacant city lot of Muskegon into a picturesque pocket park. The Monet Garden of Muskegon, Lakeshore Garden Masters, and the City of Muskegon welcome you to enjoy the audio tour of the Monet Garden. And then you can see on the post below here, you'll find eight buttons. Each of them tells a different story of the Monet Garden and you can use it to hear the story. So if you click on one of these guys. Welcome to Whoa. the Monet Garden. There you go. In January of 2000, this was just a vacant lot. So January 2000 was a vacant lot with weeds. But now it is this beautiful, beautiful park. The Monet Garden of Muskegon. So if you're a big Monet guy, lady, person, whatever, you're going to love this. See what happens when you just get off the beaten path a little bit, make your way through certain states that are close to home. I mean, I'm less than three hours from Chicago and I visited Bel Air Lake, the Shanty Creek Resort. I've also 
stopped along the way of some interesting things like this giant tree that you're looking at right now full of shoes. Apparently it's an art pro project, art piece. I have no, uh, no judgment there. And then also this awesome replica of Mackinac Bridge that is up in uh, Mackinac Island. Isn't that pretty awesome? And then here I am again, uh, finishing up in Mo downtown Muskegon at this uh, Street Performers Art Festival. It is absolutely fantastic. Remember when I said that walking around finding the random things is the best part about a road trip? I think I found like the strawberry sundae of the entire thing because that woman had a bird on her uh, shoulder and there's just random awesomeness happening all around me in downtown Muskegon. I'm right downtown. Uh, there's musical acts happening over there. Some more happening over here. There's face painting happening over here. I believe I am at the Muskegon Street Performers event, uh, which they have here. I think it's the fifth year in a row they've been doing it. But this place is awesome because it's everything for kids. So street performers, they have balloon artists. So yeah, if you have a chance to come down here and check this place out, you really should. There's a lot going. There's a lot going on down here. T B A R N A S at WGNTV.com. T Barnes at WGNTV.com. If you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene, thank you for watching as always. Let's have some cotton candy.